Now, by now, you should understand that every system starts with Acusis Core. It handles all the audio, video, and control processing on your system. But now, we're going to introduce you to all the different specialized network peripherals you can add depending on your application needs. All of these peripherals send their data over the same standard gigabit network back and forth to the core for processing. The I.O. frame, as its name implies, provides additional audio inputs and outputs to the system when you need more connections than are available on your core. The standard model of I.O. frame can house up to four specialized I.O. cards, which bring analog and bridge network audio sources onto the QLAN network to be delivered to the core. After the core processes the audio, it transports the audio to an appropriate output, which might be a local connection or I.O. card on the core itself, or another networked I.O. device. Regardless of where the audio leaves QSYS, that audio is then converted back to analog and delivered to the amplifier. QSYS I.O. devices are intended to be physically located close to the signal source or destination. The different types of I.O. cards will be covered later in this course. There are also a few other types of I.O. devices. The I.O. 8 Flex is a compact PoE channel expander that provides eight channels of Flex input or output, which means that it can be configured in the software with single channel granularity to be either a mic line input or line output. For example, if you need all eight channels to be inputs, no problem. If you need three inputs and five outputs, easy peasy. You get the idea. On top of that, it comes with great mounting hardware that allows for single unit racking, pairing them up with an additional IO8 flex, or if you're doing a standard conference room, you might want to mount one right next to one of our SPA series amplifiers, or mount them outside the rack entirely, under the table or behind an LCD screen. If you need even higher channel count density in your installation, or you have highly specialized IO requirements, Certain cores, like the Core 510 for example, can be operated in I.O. frame mode. This mode offers the ability to integrate up to 128 by 128 audio channels via its 8 I.O. card slots. Keep in mind that you'll need another QSYS core on the network to do the processing. Similar to the I.O. 8 Flex, the I.O. 22 is a compact standalone I.O. box that provides two mic line inputs and two line outputs is powered over Ethernet, and also includes an 8.5 watt mono amplifier to drive a local monitor speaker. This device is compact in size, which allows for hideaway mounting locations such as under a desk or attached to a rack tray. Next on our list of peripherals are the AV to USB bridging devices, ideal for integrating soft codec applications like Skype for Business and WebEx into modern conference room hardware. These include the QSYS PTZ IP cameras and the I.O. USB bridge. Both conference cameras stream high quality video over the network to be delivered to a PC via a QSYS USB video bridge, typically through an I.O. USB bridge endpoint device to a laptop on a table, or directly from the Core 110F's USB port for rack mount PCs. These devices also allow USB audio bridges which deliver up to 16 by 16 channels of audio to a computer on the same USB 2.0 cable as the video bridge. This system is fully explored in another course in this training. Next, the QSYS touchscreen controllers offer fully customizable control of the system for your end user. User control interfaces can be designed with simple drag and drop ease with QSYS designer software, all without any scripting required. Best of all, there's no additional control hardware required to run these touchscreen controllers. Like every other function on QSYS, these are software applications that are driven by the powerful QSYS core processor. Choose from models that range in size, resolution, and form, including wall mount and tabletop versions. The TSC 7T also has a USB bridge, which can accommodate BYOD audio connectivity to those soft codec applications. If you want wireless control, you can configure your UCI to be displayed on any iOS device. Just download a free app from the Apple App Store. For those interested in transportation installations, we have rugged networked paid station peripherals available. Just like our touchscreens, no additional processors are required to drive this sophisticated paging system. 
QSIS page stations are available in desktop and wall mount versions with different options for microphones and keypads. The PSX is an additional accessory that provides a secondary microphone for applications such as airport gangways or rail platform. When designing your system, every peripheral that is properly connected to the Gigabit network will be discoverable in the QSIS configurator. Now, in order to make a peripheral accessible in your design, simply go to the inventory pane, click the plus icon, select peripheral, and add your device to your design. For more information on how this process works, check out the video on the configurator tool.